Hi everyone, it's me Jim Shedraza from professionaltutorial.com and in this video we are going to learn and we are going to make one of new logo and that is for Hazara Homes which was given by a client and I have created that one with very simple and easy tricks and that was one of the best project which I have worked and now we are going to see that how we can make such an amazing logo and that logo is like that one here I just made uh, uh, the two edge here is edge and here is one another edge if I'm going to show you that to one and change the color and it is two edge which is the uh, initial of the Hazara and homes and that is build your home or dream homes and it 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 is the logo for the home based company therefore they just uh, has given me the idea and i integrated that idea in adobe illustrator and made a very unique and amazing design now how i have created that one we are going to see that now here i have just uh, took a rectangle here and uh, with the help of rectangle i have drawn one rectangle and uh, i just made and adjust the size and i just brought that like made edge and the same i have just duplicated that one as well and you can see that it has now equal distance and if you are going to make something like this one and you can adjust everything then you can just press ctrl and d and you will get exactly same size and length of that one now i will just con uh, i will just press alt and just duplicate that one and we are going to rotate that one and i will just bring that to the center and uh, we are just going to do one more thing and you can see that it is the center of that object and we are just going to extend that until we get till to this one and now i have created edge now i just made the roof and the window and for that one i took my rectangle tool again and we get just select that one and we are just going to make the fill to none and the stroke we are going to make the size let me just change its color first and then now we are going to make that size which is equal to that one and we are going to just make like this one okay now i'm going to just taking that to a little bit now it is exactly the same thing or we can just view come to view ruler and show ruler and we are going to come here and we will also take that one now as you can see that now it is not adjusted as it should be therefore we are going to select once again that alignment and we will come nearly it is 20 and we have made that 20 now it is exactly the same size which we have created for that one and again we are going to rotate that one maybe like this and we bring here to the center and now we are going to just outline that that one and for that we are going to select an object and come to the path and outline and here we can just come here and we make something like this one and we are going to select both of them while clicking or while pressing the shift we will select that one and it will select both of them now you will come in window and you have pathfinder and you are going to subtract that one now as you can see that everything is looking fine now i will just press my alt and i will bring that to right and we are going to just make that everything is looking fine for now we just make some adjustment here and as you can see that there is some problem 
and uh, with part finder we can bring that one as you can see the that snap snap uh, align is enabled i just disab disabled that one now it is working fine and exactly that thing now we will come here again and we will do the same procedure with these two one i have just uh, pressed down shift key and selected both that key now we will bring here now as you can see everything is looking fine and great and everything is okay right now and i'm going to delete that one just clicking delete now i just bring that 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 one taking that two anchor point and just drag to the top and as you can see now it is okay all right and we will select that and we just take the color from here now one thing more we have uh, just we are going to just cut down like these one and here you can see for that i have one procedure you have to select that one and this one and now just combine that and now we are going to select that one that one this one and this one i have just hold down my shift key now we are just going to divide everything and we will come here and we gonna select this one like that one and that one and we will take to the top i have just hold down my shift and uh, i pressed arrow down arrow up and it just met that space now i will do same technique with this one as well i will select that one shift press uh, hold down shift and press down you will get exactly same size or same distance and i will do with all these things as well now for that one i will select again that two one and one and same thing we are going to select for this one and for that one as well now i have that one which is nearly not fine for now but we are going to select that two one as well and we will bring closer to our roof and it seems now okay and fine and everything is looking great and amazing but somehow i have to adjust that two or that two three that i will bring to the top and we are now going to make the roof as well for that one i have selected my square and we are going to duplicate that one now bring that to down and now we are going to make same while i have just pressed shift and i brought everything now we are going to hold down shift again select all of three all of four and we are group that one and we are going to scale that down a little bit and make it center and uh, make it center to the horizontal as well now as you can see it is now complete it and as you can see that everything is separated if i just take that one therefore you are going to take and select this one and unite that one then maybe that one as well and now that one and control and shift select you have to press down shift and select all these and now same procedure will be continue with all of these one as well now everything is completed and again we are going to write like home Hazara homes and that but as I know that you can just create with text tool from here and you come here and like write Hazara homes and as we have to select the for now the color and here i am going to select color from here and uh, as h is smaller we are going to make it capital and we are going to make that marriott pro and that should be bold and uh, marriott pro 
and we are going to select bolt and here we have selected each and everything and I will just take it down and write like build build your dream homes and we are going to select that one like light version and bring that to down and we have in character and we are just going to make that set tracking to select and maybe 400 and we just scale it down a little bit now that is completed right now and we have done it with perfect shape and icon now it is how we are going to make that logo beautiful and amazing i hope you get the basic idea and uh, if you have any question or you are going to find any problem you can comment that in this video and we will be right back with your answer and if you like that video just thumbs up that video and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet we are going to bring more amazing video like this one therefore stay tuned for more amazing video and goodbye for now